The major file format for geographic data is called a shape file. Shape files can be any size and contain all sorts of information. They can be as simple as the outlines of a county or each state in the US, or they can be a shape file that outlines every single building in New York City with 50 pieces of information attached to each of them. And that is actually a real data set if you'd like to find it. A weird thing about shape files is what kind of file they are. So when you download a shape file, they usually come like this as a zip file. The zip file is not the shape file. This is not the shape file. It contains the shape file. The shape file is hiding inside. So I'm going to unzip it and it's going to give me a brand new folder. So if we open up this folder, that's the extracted zip file, suddenly we see a ton of different files, a million and one files, DBF, PRJ, SHP, and a bunch more. The shape file is technically this one right here, the SHP file, but the other files are important too. So let's talk about what each one of them are. So first off, we're gonna have a shape file. So the shape file is the actual geometry of your shapes. This is the outlines of the shapes of the states or the locations of the points on your map, the restaurants, the power plants, things like that. It's your basic mappable content. That is your .shp. If we look, we see here a DBF file. Now the DB is a hint. It is a database file. And what is in there is all of the information associated with every single part of your shape file, every single shape in your shape file or every single point in your shape file. If I had a shape file of every single state in America, the shape file, the SHP would be their outlines. The database file would contain things like the name of the state, the population of the state, the GDP of the state, things like that. So it's all of the extra additional info outside of the shape. Next up, we have the PRJ file. So the PRJ file is the projection file. There are a million and one different ways to talk about points on the earth. You might assume that it's just latitude and longitude, but as you'll find out later, Latitude and longitude, kind of a lie. So what we need to do is we need to include a file called the projection file that gives all the assumptions that we're making about the earth and about the area that we're mapping. Shape of the earth, where on the earth we're talking about, things like that. So a projection file is very, very important. If you're missing the projection file, Everything could go wrong, or you could just assume it's the most common latitude-longitude projection. So who knows what you'll do there. Let's see, down here we have an SHX file, which is an index file. So an index file basically makes your shape file a little bit faster in certain ways when it's going through every single feature, every single shape, every single point. Uh, seeing you know where it is putting them order stuff like that so there are also a bunch of other files here but honestly it doesn't matter what they are if you're curious about them I'll give you a link you can look them up FBNs AINs ATXs IXSs CPGs tons of XMLs there are a million and one files that can hang out inside of your shape file but really the important file is this SHP because those are your actual shapes. When you are telling software, hey, open up my shape file, you don't give it this zip file. What you do is you say, hey, I have a shape file. It has this crazy name, please open it. As your software, whether it's GeoPandas or something else, is opening up this shape file, it's also secretly looking for all of these other files. So even though you say, open up my .shp, it will also automatically open up the .dbf, the .prj, the .cpg, the .shx, these XML files as well. 
So you never have to worry about which file to open because it's always going to be the SHP, always going to be the extracted version. Additionally, when you open up a shape file and you see a million and one files, sometimes you might just have two, maybe three. This one has a ton, this is eight. Don't be intimidated by all of those files. Don't be scared that it's a lot of information. Because when you have a lot of files, that means someone has taken care to put together a great package for you. They have the geometry, they have a lot of extra data that probably comes with it. They're making sure you're not getting your projections wrong, things like that. So if you have a lot of files when you download a shape file, get excited because it's probably going to be a speedy and information-filled journey.